Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, coming up on this week's episode. AeroEducate adds AEA, plain English, and safe launch to roster of supporters. Enstrom Helicopter presents maintenance training classes. Spartan and Atlas Air launch new Cadet Academy. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, a weekly program dedicated to future aviators and aviation professionals. Airborne Flight Training is brought to you in part by King Schools. King Schools has been leading the effort in producing expert aviation training programs and computer-based learning software for over 50 years. Find out why pilots love King Teaching at kingschools.com. Now let's get into today's stories. AeroEducate adds AEA, plain English, and safe launch to roster of supporters. EAA has added a trio of new collaborations to their free aviation education program, AeroEducate, fleshing out their program for students throughout their primary and secondary schooling. New additions include a partnership with the Aircraft Electronics Association, Safe Launch, and Plain English Interactive Training Solutions. Each group adds their know-how to the body of knowledge included in AeroEducate. The AEA provides their expertise in avionics activities, giving students lessons that touch on the manufacturing, electronics, and installation. Plain English similarly contributed by drawing on their history of automated and AI-assisted pilot communication exercises. Their company focuses on, quote, interactive training solutions designed to help communications, cockpit familiarization, procedures, and flow training, end quote. And finally, Safe Launch lends their experience as an anti-drug and anti-alcohol program to provide a K-12 option that, quote, focuses on the importance of avoiding addictive substances to maintain peak brain health. Paul Malloy, EAA Director of Education, said, quote, As we add content providers to Aero Educate, it not only provides for a more robust offering for youth, parents, teachers, and youth group leaders who have a passion for aviation, but also encourages other organizations and companies to join us in inspiring the future of aviation." End quote. And after the break, World Air Navigation Race held in Slovakia. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. World Air Navigation Race Held in Slovakia The third installment of the FAI World Air Navigation Race is taking place in Slovakia. The Aero Club of Kamenica and Karoču in northeastern Slovakia near Preshov is hosting the 12-day event, which has seen 32 dual pilot teams practicing since August 13th. The actual competition began August 18th with landing practice and the opening ceremony. The Polish team of Radomski Bolesaw and Darius Lachowski will be defending their title from the previous World Championship held in Portugal in 2019. Larry Gaines receives Debbie Francis Aviation Spirit Award. Larry Gaines of Stockton, California, received the 2024 Aviation Spirit Award presented by the Debbie Francis Memorial Aviation Foundation. The presentation took place prior to the EAA Air Venture Oshkosh event at the annual Bonanzas to Oshkosh fly-in. He's been a pilot for 30 years and since 2007 has been running the B-2 Osh, the largest mass formation flight of aircraft to Air Venture. Larry voluntarily puts in 1,000 hours or more per year, developing and coordinating the elements and activities that make it a success. New STEM Preschool Program at Aerospace Center for Excellence The Aerospace Center for Excellence in Lakeland, Florida has started a new program for preschool students called STEM Sprouts. STEM Sprouts is a 26-week series of classes that parents participate in with their children. 
The weekly sessions are held from September to May on Monday mornings from 9 to 10.15 a.m. and explore an aviation word associated with a unique STEM concept or theme based on each letter of the alphabet. Registration opens for Marshall University's new flight school. Registration recently opened for Marshall University's new Bill No Flight School location. This professional pilot program is located at the Eastern West Virginia Regional Airport in Martinsburg, West Virginia. The flight school is named after Marshall University alumnus Bill No. No began his aviation career as a flight instructor, working his way up to COO of NetJets. On the side, he volunteered his time to assist in the development of Marshall University's flight school. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Enstrom Helicopter presents maintenance training classes. Enstrom Helicopter Corporation announced it will be hosting Enstrom maintenance training courses and extends an invitation for all mechanics and pilots to attend. The courses will be held at the Enstrom factory in Menominee, Michigan throughout the week of September 23rd through 27th for piston engine models and the week of September 30th through October 4th for turbine models. Classes will run from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday, and tuition for the course is $1,400. A discount of $200 per person is given to four or more attendees from the same company. This is the final opportunity to attend the maintenance courses this year, and of course, dates for 2025 will be announced in the coming months. Students will learn best practices for inspection of an Enstrom to keep it running smoothly without issues. Elements include how to perform proper inspection procedures, routine maintenance tasks, troubleshooting airframe and rotor system components, main rotor tracking, and tail ballast procedures. Attendees will have multiple opportunities for hands-on practice of what is learned through display models and special tooling. The maintenance courses are accredited for IA renewal. After these messages, Spartan and Atlas Air launch new Cadet Academy. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Spartan and Atlas Air launch new Cadet Academy. Recently, Spartan Education Group announced their partnership with Atlas Air to launch the Atlas Cadet Academy. This opportunity offers cadets a potential path to pursue a career with Atlas. Spartan Education Group, or SEG, is headquartered in Chicago, Illinois. In 2012, they acquired Spartan College of Aeronautics and Technology. Spartan College was founded in 1928 and has since trained over 100,000 pilots and technicians at its four campus locations. SEG also has ownership of Mick Air Aviation Flight School in Broomfield, Colorado, and Illinois Aviation Academy in Western Chicago. Their latest partnership is with Atlas Air, an American cargo and passenger airline. This carrier is one of the world's largest 747 operators. Patricia Goodwin-Peters, Senior VP of Human Resources for Atlas Air, said, quote, we are thrilled to collaborate with Spartan Education Group to grow this unique academy for fostering flying careers for aspiring pilots." End quote. The Atlas Cadet Academy's curriculum incorporates leadership, teamwork, and advanced flight skill training to prepare pilots for the modern aviation world. It provides both pilot and aviation technician career guidance, and in the long term, graduates may have the opportunity to work with Atlas Air. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.